This is why I let him do the driving. <laughs> because I get to see, oh, and hopefully you do too, just how Lamborghini have enhanced the performance. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Italy, home to some of the greatest automotive and motorbike manufacturers on the planet. And in the next 24 hours, I'm gonna get my first taste of the very exciting and brand new Lamborghini Urus Performante. Now at this point, it's very easy to get carried away. I'm in Rome in a lovely hotel with a new Lamborghini to play with, and hopefully, I'll be able to taste the finest pizza and pasta that Italy have to offer as well. But in fact, I'm here on a mission my challenge today is to work out whether the world needs a hardcore SUV. This is ridiculous. Oh my God. Considering Lamborghini have just facelifted the Urus and released the Urus S, do we really need the Urus Performante? Euro since its launch back in December 2017 has been a worldwide success, outselling every other Lamborghini to date, with over 20,000 of them rolling off the production line, catapulting brand profits through the roof, whilst destroying many of the SUV competition at the same time. It's as common as taxis in many parts of London, LA and Dubai, and the Urus really was the first time in the modern era you could fit your friends inside your Lamborghini. It ticks almost every box, and in fact, the one box it doesn't necessarily tick doesn't really need to. Can an SUV be a capable track-focused car? It is a beautiful morning here in Italy and we are in the pit of the Vallelunga Racer. With two ton Euros Performantes flying around, we are here to test the true driving emotions of the Performante and what that means to the Euros. 660 brake horsepower, around 50 kilograms worth of weight reduction and just under 40% worth of improved downforce. What that means and what that translates to out on the track is a different story. Excuse the appearance. I'm in the passenger seat of the Euros Performante with Jean-Luc driving. Hello. <laughs> and now it's time to really get 100%, 110% of the Euros Performante. I think you can see my smile. Yeah, <laughs> you're so relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I let him do the driving. <laughs> because I get to see, oh. and hopefully you do too, just how Lamborghini have enhanced the performance on the Urus Performante. What just amazes me is that with such a weight, there's such incredible grip. It's it is ridiculous. Really ridiculous. <laughs> oh God, going in there so fast. <laughs> I haven't got the neck muscles to be a racing driver. <laughs> I cannot believe a car that is this big, this heavy, can do what it is doing. <laughs> you liked it? Insane. Insane. <laughs> when I came out and I knew that we were going to be on track, I, I knew no matter how much fun it would be for me to drive, yeah. I had to experience yes, that. Yes. Because the Performante is built for this. And this is where it excels. 
what is also really and what I feel when I drive the car now in this condition you feel the aerodynamics yeah you feel it incredible yeah. like the like how this car performs the performante is just incredible yeah like, uh, they have done a really good job oh. really good yeah I could, I could confirm that give me some aircon <laughs> Performante sets out to raise the bar and enhance two areas of the standard Urus. The performance, obviously, and also the driving emotions, which I believe is where we are headed now. There's a recalibrated steering system and a recalibrated rear wheel steer, and a new driving mode added for rally. The suspension has been shifted from air suspension, which was on the standard Urus, to steel springs, which provide a better connection between the driver and the car, and has allowed Lamborghini to better tune and predict the dynamics of the vehicle. We're about to head over to a rally stage to test this out. Letting go, yes, and keeping you on the track. Ah, <laughs> oh, this was the best yeah. one. <laughs> expression of having fun behind the wheel. Oh, <laughs> oh, I have never experienced <laughs> an SUV like this. I've been watching most of the lap outside this window. That was amazing. <laughs> Just as two Euros Performante simultaneously go through the pits into the garages, I'm using one to host my camera whilst we have these in the background because this is the perfect place to summarize that one question that I set out to try and answer today. Do we need an SUV in this world that can tick the box of being a track focused car. Now, whilst we are at the Vallelunga race circuit and I have driven this car on track and experienced it from the passenger seat, which by the way, was one of the most intense track experiences I've ever had in my entire life. And then going off road and having Mario blast me around after I've had a little bit of fun of lo losing grip. This is a highly intelligent car and Lamborghini wanted to set out to enhance the performance of the Urus and also make it fun to drive, make it more emotional as a driver to experience this car. And I feel like they are the boxes that Lamborghini have ticked so well. On a car that was near on perfect, they've actually gone and made it even more enjoyable. And whilst we haven't experienced it on the road, I would like to, but I don't feel like I need to because the extremes of its personality have outshone themselves today on track and off-road. It has been a truly awesome day. And the one thing that I keep thinking, the Lamborghini Urus is the most successful car when it comes to residuals. When you buy one of these cars, the chances of you actually losing any money are so slim. I can imagine 99% of them are gonna go and build an off-road track in their back garden because that's where it shone more and I feel like Euros Performante will be more used off-road than it will on track. 
but you are just going to go and build a dirt track in your back garden so that you can hoon your Eurus Perf because it is built for it with its special rally stage. The way the suspension and the anti-roll bars are set up, it is a phenomenal piece of kit. Customers are going to love it and when they sell it, they're going to love it even more because they're not going to lose any money. So an absolute genius move from Lamborghini. I cannot wait to drive Eurus S because there are some differences. The Eurus S is definitely a little evolvement of the Eurus, whereas the Eurus Perf is a much sportier, more performance driven, absolute phenomenal S SUV. And it does tick the box of being a track focused SUV, whether you like it or not. I'll see you soon guys. Take care. Goodbye.